we have a terrible situation guys so it turns out that my visa was not for three months it was only two months 60 days guys put some ketchup in there Visa. Good to go for 30 days now. Okay guys, we just arrived and the bus leaves at 8 and it is 7.55 and you go into the front part, they give you the ticket and you go inside. When I booked the bus, it said I had to arrive here 60 minutes prior and I arrived five minutes prior. So I was a bit worried that I wasn't gonna get let through or I was gonna miss my bus, but it looks like it's all okay. I cannot believe it guys, we actually made the bus. Look at that, we're chilling here, it's like a pimp. And I have to say, wow dude, these are really comfy chairs, look at that. You have a nice little blanket, and the seat is very spacious, I have to admit. You also have this here where you can put your drinks. Um, it also have a USB charger so you can charge your stuff. An overall very smooth process now to tell you the truth I have no idea if they're gonna let me through or if we're gonna stop at the border or how this even works I just got on the bus I paid for it we'll see what happens but we might be stuck at some point during this video from here to the border I think it's like a good eight hours so I bought myself some edible gummies dude I got with some, some mini gummies. Um, this whole thing cost me 600 baht. And basically the lady told me that I should take three or four and I should be good. And there's about like maybe 15 gummies in here, something like that. Oh look, 30 pieces, 30 pieces. So I think that's a good deal. Um, let's see what happens. Oh, I gotta mention, they also give you some snacks here. They give you this coconut filled bun with a water and I think this is ooh orange juice very nice very nice it's midnight and we just had a little quick stop where you can get some snacks to eat if you go to the restroom even though the bus does have a bathroom inside so this is just another bus station I'm not sure where we're at but yeah look you can still get something to eat maybe I'll get something to drink a little snacky snack before we go to sleep what they got ooh that looks pretty good it looks like a nice little sandwich. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna get some of this. All right, let's get a juice. Let's try this. And can I get one of these? Um, this chicken? Chicken. Okay, and what's this one? Chicken. Oh, okay, I'll get chicken. Okay. Yeah, thank you. So it turns out if you show them your ticket, uh, you get a discount. I got all this for 18 baht, dude. That's so strange. It's like the cheapest thing I've ever bought in Thailand. Bam, there it is, guys. Put some ketchup in there. Oh! Mm. Mm. It's pretty weak, bro. Not the best chicken burger, but look, it's 18 baht. I can't complain. They just woke me up and basically we're here at the border. It is 6 in the morning and what just happened is the bus stopped and the people got off the bus and we're right now going to cross the border. Uh, we're going to exit out of Thailand <clears throat> and then I guess apply for the visa in Laos and the bus just waits for you there. No issues whatsoever. At least that's what I think so far. We have a terrible situation guys. So it turns out that my visa was not for three months. It was only two months, 60 days. So I overstayed by like 23 days. That's 500 baht a day. So it turns out to be 12,500 baht. I don't have the cash right now. I have about 13,000 baht and that's including to be able to pay for my visa into Laos. I don't have any debit cards. I can't get any cash out. I'm pr completely screwed. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm really scared, uh, who knows, maybe I'll end up in jail, I might get banned from the country, I'm not sure. We're gonna try to figure something out. Uh, but the other dilemma is that the bus that brought me to the border, they crossed the border and they're waiting for me on the Laos side and they have all my bags. And I've been here for about almost two hours and they haven't come back, who knows if they took my bags, they took all my stuff. But 
yeah, I can't cross the border. I can't leave Thailand. I can't go into Laos. I don't have my bags. I'm screwed. We got some good news, guys. I got my bags. Basically, I had to cross over to the Laos border, find the bus, get my bags, and then come back to the border of uh, Thailand, which is a good three to four minute bus ride. So there's buses here that take you there and back for free. And now I'm gonna go to an ATM because to tell you the truth, guys, I only have 13,000 baht and the fine is 12,500. And I was supposed to use the 13,000 baht to pay for the visa to Laos and to be able to live off of for the next two weeks because I'm out of money, guys. I am broke as fuck. And I was supposed to use that to be able to live off until I get paid by YouTube on the 23rd of this month, which is another week and a half. But thank God someone from my Discord said, hey man, don't worry, um, I'll help you out. I'll lend you the money, just pay me back whenever you have the chance. So he sent me 370 USD, which is how much it is. But since I don't have a debit card, I have to transfer this to one of, uh, his name is Mark, he's been helping me out. Um, he's, he's actually one of my moderators in my live streams. And uh, I sent him the money and then he has a Thai bank account where I can do carless cash from. So we're gonna go find an ATM. We can, we can do the carless cash. We'll get the cash, we'll pay the fine, and then we have to find a bus that's gonna take us to VNTN because the bus is not gonna wait for us. And yeah, that's that's the end of hopefully this nightmare. After a lot of efforts, we finally found a bank to withdraw the cash. I just talked to a normal person that had a little scooter and I asked him if he knew where this, this bank was close by and it was like a good five minute scooter ride. So he took me there and then he was nice enough to drop me off back at the border. Uh, and I paid him, it was a total, I think I gave him 170 baht, which I think he deserves that and more because he helped me so much. The walk to the bank would have been a good 25 minutes and back another 25 minutes is just too much. Hello, I, I got the money for you, my lady. I got the cash, I got the cash. I got you, I got you. Are you going to throw me a piece? Yes. <laughs> you don't trust me? Oh, she don't trust me. Hello. You don't trust me? You don't trust me? No, you don't trust me? <laughs> Okay, here you go. So here's 10. Here's 10. 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, and then 1, 2, and, and then 3. Yes. Uh, I, do, I don't have change. Uh, I don't have change. You have change? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Can you, you yeah. want to tip me? Oh, you want to tip? Oh, <laughs> okay, Valentine's for Valentine's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay. Tip me? Oh, you want to tip? You, you want, do you want to tip? <laughs> I need it, I need it, I need it, I need it for the, I need it. Okay, I'll give you a tip, I'll give you a tip. Give you a tip. Can I give you a small tip? A small, a small tip? Can I give you? I give you. A, 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 a big tip. Oh no! I, no, this is all the cash I need for. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I need this. I need this for Laos. Okay. Up to you. Yeah. Up to you. Okay. Here, I'll give you. I give you. All right. I give you another. Wait. Wait. Hello, honey. Mama, follow me. Okay. Thank you. I paid the fine. We're good to go. They basically just made me fill out some forms, and the lady said, "If well, I'll be coming back to Thailand," and I said. I don't think so, I'm not sure. Would it be a problem if I do? And she says, if you do decide to come back, just do it through the airport, not through the border crossing. And I said, okay. And now we're here where we're gonna catch a little bus that will take us to the, the border of Laos, where we'll get our Laos visa and the bus ticket is 30 baht. Ooh, very spacious bus, I gotta say. Not bad for 30 baht. Sit back here. So yeah, this is what I travel with guys. I have this bag right here, this bag right here, a bag here with my skateboard, and then my little bag. So uh, going through all this with all these bags is definitely not fun, but what matters is we're getting straight through it. Now, just get the loud visa, find a bus to take us to Vientiane, and let this journey begin. The bus has taken off guys as you can see it's packed man there's a lot of people here and I think the ride is about four to five minutes it's not too far but it's actually really pretty because we crossed by a big river here. After we got dropped off here's the visa on arrival unit 
they give you some forms that you have to fill out it takes about five minutes and then you come back here you give them the forms your passport and you pay and then over here is I think where you receive your passport with the stamp and I think that should be it I'm not 100% sure but it looks like that's it we got it guys we got the Lao visa good to go for 30 days now we just have to go through customs and immigration control and that should be the end of this crazy journey that's it guys and we're good to go hello hello how are you guys it's okay I'm just gonna get the bus I'm gonna get the bus okay thank you all right so yeah as soon as you you come out and you cross the border there's tons of people that try to get you um, to go with them taxi service they were charging me 400 baht but yeah I know that you can just get a bus that will take you to, to this to the city it's okay it's okay thank you and uh, it's a lot cheaper okay this is the bus that will take us to Vientiane nice I don't know how much it is but I'll throw it up on here for you guys to know so yeah as soon as you cross the border just catch the bus it's a lot cheaper and look it's pretty comfortable spacious Let's sit in the back, let's sit in the back, like a baller, like a baller. But so you guys can see, this is what I travel with. You have one bag here, two bags, three bags, and... After 20 minutes we have been dropped off here at the bus station. And we're finally in the city of Vientiane, guys. So that was the journey crossing the border from Thailand to Laos. I had some issues, I had some problems, but if you don't overstay your visa and everything is a-okay, then it should be very smooth for you. So just a reminder, what you need is just a passport picture of yourself, make sure to bring a pen to fill out the form, and also a lot of people, what they try to do is they bring the $45 in cash, uh, Australia, um, American dollars, sorry. But you can also pay in Thai baht. So I paid 1,700 Thai baht and, uh, and it was simple, it was easy. And really probably one of the easiest border crossing that I've ever done. Very smooth and also the line was not even long. It was actually fairly short. So let me know what you guys thought. Uh, comment down below, hit the like button, subscribe and just don't overstay your visa guys it's not worth it it's so expensive and it's a bit scary i'll see you guys next time peace out rodriguez bye